boys and girls, welcome back for another virtual hike. I'm Marty Calabrese. This goes out to the second graders at Fernway Elementary in Shaker Heights, Ohio. Mrs. Hassel mentioned to me that you guys know about the seasons. As we transition from summer to fall, we can expect to see wildlife do certain things to get ready, to get prepped for the impending winter. Let's take a look and see if we can find some evidence that animals and plants are getting ready for fall and thinking ahead to winter. One of the most stunning indicators that fall is fast approaching are these fields of goldenrod. What a stunning wildflower. As those hot summer days fade away and into fall, the tree has less of a reason to produce this green pigment called chlorophyll. Chlorophyll helps the tree turn that sunlight into food, into sugar. And that process is called photosynthesis. Now, you'll learn more about that in a few years, but when the tree has less of a reason to produce that green stuff, it starts to reveal more of the true colors, like red and yellow, orange, every now and then, purple. The fall transition is for animals too. Take a closer look at some of these milkweed plants. You've got beetles, large milkweed beetles rushing, finding food, filling up for those colder nights ahead. So animals can have adaptations. Remember our last video? That's something that can help them survive. But to get through winter, they can also hibernate. That means they sleep it off or they can migrate. That means they get out of town for a while. But in the case of this grasshopper, it started off as an egg and that's how it lasted through winter. It was an egg over winter. Okay kids, we're gonna finish up. Let's review. As fall sets in and winter approaches, the day length is getting shorter. So there's less and less of that warm sunlight. And plants and animals are gonna have to figure out what to do, like this mantis that I just found as we were finishing up. This is a praying mantis. What a phenomenal creature. As an insect, it's the only one that can turn its head side to side. Look at those big eyeballs. I'm gonna put this back, whoops, in the field where I found it. There you go, whoops, okay. It wants to hang out for a little bit. Oh, and one more thing, second graders of Fernway Elementary, be sure to get out there this fall and make your own observations. Until our next virtual hike, I'm naturalist Marty Calabrese with Cleveland Metro Parks.